Hello, this is Tita on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me. Nimi Ife Oluwa Oshekeye and Ife Omae. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Nimi. Hi, I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you? Hi, Beniak. <laughs> wow, great. <laughs> how are you doing? We missed you for a minute. Hi, Ewa mm -hmm. Oh, is, my God. My name doesn't change, fam. Oh, like so mine this. does. <laughs> Amazing. Well, mm, apparently. <laughs> oh, yours too, apparently. <laughs> so this morning, the rain. Goodness. Yeah, it was mm. flooding. Did was, you see flood? Mm, yeah, I did. Mm. A whole lot. The uh, express was flooded, so why won't I say it? The express was the flooded. The express was flooded. Mm -hmm. if, which express were you coming from? I don't know what express you passed. <laughs> my express was, was your flooded. express flooded? No, I didn't. I didn't by the time, well, time out, we were out, I didn't see the flood. But yeah, it looked yeah, terrible. The island is flooded. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how how many years we'll have to shout and talk about this mm. before something is actually done. Right. And I don't want to believe it is rocket science for this flood issue to be sorted. So I don't know what is going on. I don't know if that is just what it's supposed to be when you're living on the island. I don't know. An expensive slum, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> that I, I, that I, should be correct. I mean, I know that we are on the island and like you're building stuff on there, but I've seen many other societies do the exact same thing and they've been able to score the um, flooding test properly so mm -hmm. i don't I, I i have to agree i don't think it's rocket science i think it's been done before and mm -hmm. again and we have the resources to do it i mean you charge heaven and earth for nothing why can't you just use a bit of that for drainage it makes no sense it makes no sense absolutely i think the problem starts with you and i it starts with not taking care of the environment because when you see the flood you see that um Bottles. what you actually see is refuse all over the place mm. like garbage garbage of course they say garbage in garbage out <laughs> so if you keep throwing in the garbage of course the garbage will keep coming out when it rains and that's why it's all flooded so regardless of what they do even if they clear the drainage system and people don't change the habit of throwing things out of their cars or littering the streets you finish eating your corn and you fling it on the streets mm. you finish drinking your water you fling it you finish drinking your coke whatever it is and you just fling it up 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 and about that's what you keep getting well, so that, yeah i mean i agree to that but i don't know if it's a very high percentage of the clogging that's happening i mean a lot of the times the disposing um companies or whoever is in charge of that don't really do a good job so you find that they're supposed to all put their bins into one location mm. it's never picked up ever um, so that is also like sometimes when you even mean well to try and dispose your your mess properly I don't think the government then or whoever is in charge I don't know if it's privatized I'm not sure how that mm. works but I think sometimes the other party as well are not living up to the bargain of like recycling things properly so yeah I mean we're all to blame at the end of the day government is still us so yeah I agree to, okay. to that all right let's um rape again Dre Akan apologizes over insensitive comments on the rape um, saga. Right. Um, his um, comments is not something I even want to reiterate on television. Right. Um, but he basically, um, that's his apology, basically. Uh, it's a, his apology has no, it can't even compete with the problem that he put online. I agree with you when he said, I don't even want to reiterate it. Like, I don't want to have to repeat that on social media, but, I mean, on TV rather, but I think it's, it's something that a lot of men think I, and this man was just stupid enough to put it out there. It's sad and it's very scary for me as a woman and someone who you know, tries to advocate for justice against women, especially rape. Mm. It's, it's a blow to my face that my worries and, and my insecurities are not in my head and they're actually <coughs> very true and that the society really, truly does not care about women and how they are hurt. And there's a part in his, in his tweet where he said, it doesn't, like when you come on social media and you talk and you do, it doesn't even make a stain on, like it's like pretty much that, like on your whites, that it doesn't do anything to, yeah. to, to, to the person that you're accusing, nothing, and they'll be fine. That really like gutted me, but his apology, he can really suck it. Like I don't need it. I don't. I, you can't apologize for something like that. Um, it it was too long. He said too many words, too many it wasn't tweets. Just a tweet. It wasn't just a tweet. It was he was expressing himself, himself. 
Um, and you can't form that. Even when I am drunk or intoxicated, I can't even, like, so you have try and be creative say. enough to put, put that out there. Even if I wanted to, like, it's bizarre to me. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm done with him for sure. I understand how insensitive um, Joyak and may have sounded, and um, I want to believe that he Not had... Not he sounded. Yeah, that, no, he may have sounded because I want to believe he had good intentions when he was putting that out there. And the good intentions I'm speaking about is the fact that, yes, we keep saying no to rape, but we it's a low percentage, yes, but it should be addressed as well. We still have people who come out to accuse people for clout. It's a low percentage, don't get me wrong, but we need to address that. And I think that was his intention. He was trying to address people that accuse people for clout chasing. But maybe the way he put the words out there, very insensitive. Maybe the words didn't come out right. Yes, I agree. But we that should, you cannot stay in their whites. But we should not totally <laughs> ignore the people who just mm. come out. Maybe they're bitter. You're bitter about your ex. It broke your heart and, or something. And now that um, rape is a trend right now, you jump but on the But based on what wagon. he's saying, your, even your point is not valid because he's saying that it's not a big issue to even falsely rape someone because it does nothing. That's what he's saying. He's saying that it doesn't matter yeah, the if you come out, false in, or not, in, in his even if you raped me. Rape, false or not. The point that's, is the woman that's, comes that's out to say that the problem with the society she's, because he, And he's part of that. He's part like, of that problem. So if uh, you're saying that he has good intentions when he's coming out to talk about false accusation, he's not talking about false accusation. He's saying that your noise, both true, false, true, whatever, is it means nothing. He called it social advocate to just to bag your social so he mocked advocating for rape he mocked the idea of trying to rally behind people and stand for them that you are just playing a, you know you know that saying in yoruba that says what are you looking for in sokoto when the problem is in your shokoto that 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 saying always comes when somebody knows the reason for your struggles and is mocking it. That why are you running around making a, a, a noise when I know what your issue is? Mm -hmm. That's his tone, and he's saying I know what your issue is, and I, 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 and if I decide not to do anything about it, I will get away with it. He's a sick man. If I, this is not about false accusations, and Nimi said something yesterday, and uh, I think Elsie yeah. it was a bit. Elsa and I were a bit hesitant because she said, let's not focus on this rape accu accusers. The false accusers, yeah. uh, accusers. Because even the real rapists, get no nothing happens to them. They're roaming around preaching, teaching, making policies, living large. Nothing is happening. So while we're at it, let's not pretend like we need to have a conversation about, about, false, about accusers. false accusations. Yeah. Uh, ac accusers. Okay. Hmm. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Now? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. On the previous episode of Tea Time, we brought you an update regarding the band rape allegation and his response. However, after that live show, the news of the alleged victim being arrested and detained with no access to lawyers or her guardian surfaced on social media. This sparked um, an outrage online and well-meaning Nigerians rallied around to get Sheyiton out of the police custody, saying that it is illegal to detain her. Another twist to the matter came up when the alleged victim, Sheyiton, 
tweeted saying, and I quote, I am done with all this back and forth drama. Frank took me to the party and gave me the key to the room. I am moving on and leaving everything behind. I don't know where all these rumors are coming from. Myself and my mom were not and have not been arrested, end of quote. Hmm. What okay. do we believe? <laughs> um, of course, I know she was arrested. Yeah. What I, what I don't know the so reason why, did she put out that why she's she putting out she, that tweet. She didn't put out that tweet. Mm. But we know she was arrested. How do you know that? Kiki you know Modi, uh, okay, we had people like Kiki Modi on um, the mm. conversation yesterday. Mm. A lot of people came on. She even confirmed that people have reached out to her to try and help get Shades out of um, the police custody. Right. So a lot was going on for anyone to come out to say, Shaito was, was not, not arrested, arrested or yeah. detained. Yeah. So whoever is putting out this tweet or however it is going out, we What if she understand. was invited for questioning, like in the case of Clarence Peters, who was invited and um, he went there willingly, and it's mm. not a case of she was actually arrested because they're making it look like she was put in handcuffs and she was taken to the station. Okay, so I think, I think um, the good thing about... Sorry nope. to answer that as well. If that was the case, then she would have had access to lawyers and her family. Yes. They didn't have access, which is why they no, actually I'm, came I, to I, seek no, help. I'm, I'm getting it, but I'm confused because of well, that. That's, that's what I'm saying. I think the good thing about it is that life doesn't stop at social media. There's real life. So yeah. like, if I say that, if they say Ife, Ife is abducted or whatever, um, it's very easy to say something is a rumor because I work here. So if you say, ah, no, she came to work or this person or whatever. The people that went past social media, I, I couldn't because I don't know who they are. I don't <laughs> I know any one of them. Like I was a doctor Person for some days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Personally, but like it, it, it looked like the people who knew the story more than social media fans or mm. speculators that have access to her couldn't get access to her. People who cared about her couldn't get and access to her. People had to make call for them yes. to finally get access to her. Yes, so it, it then became obvious that she wasn't around, like she wasn't accessible. It was very clear and proven that she was arrested. And they even pointed, they were able to pinpoint the place that she was arrested. So and that was the period that, when the whole tweets came so out. Would we say that deleted. this is... Yeah. This, they, they, would we say that they're coercing her now of course. to put out this tweet and all oh, that? Maybe she's, she's not even the one tweeting. You don't know. The point is that during the period where you couldn't find her, they knew that she was in a, 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 a police station. They didn't have access to her because they went to the police station. They couldn't have access to her. And during that period, Sis was deleting all her tweets and then tweeted and said, why well, I don't done. know what you guys are talking about. I'm done. This changed I find the story. This, I find this very disturbing because if a woman, it, it makes, it's like you're trying to silence every other woman who yep. has been abused mm -hmm. because she, she represents all the women out there that have ever been abused. And if you're saying that because you're in a position of power or because you have affluence and you're, you have influence and you think you can use all of that. It speaks a lot about our police force to start with. It speaks mm. a lot about our legal system. Mm. So, so it's, why exactly? It's not, what was yes. the ground for arrest? If yeah. there was a case, why couldn't you charge her to court or yeah. go and settle your issue? So, what that, so that's the why arrest I've been, already, I just, I'm just hoping that she just comes out and creates a live video and just says... She's never going to do that. Uh, no, uh, because, because she's no. under pressure she's, and being let, 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 I just hope that they are not going, going to succeed to in coercing her if will. that is what is that. I'm not saying that is what is happening. It's already even but so. She's already even so. See, I've seen people that are scary, very scary, and it's not even in a, in a society like this where it is even easy to achieve that. This babe is never going to talk again, and I'm glad that it's not the first time that she came out to do this rape allegation thing. So it's going to be a lot harder for her to say, "Oh no," because she said it twice. Actually, she said it ages ago when there was like a rape case against the bunch, um, and she's saying it again. And I, I'm, I believe her, because if a man was truly innocent, if the bunch was truly innocent, he didn't need to arrest her. He didn't, he would have said, I'm saying, I'm, in fact, we're taking this to court. You are very mad. Let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. And you know, ha, he has every resources to do that. But no, no, no. You know, you know the country you're living in. You know that it supports your kind. You know, you know that you will be protected. And, and you, he, he also did not respond to this allegation until his endorsement with the bank became came under threat. That was right. when he decided to use his whole power to come at this. And then girl. you arrest her. Because think about it, if 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 we're really being honest, right? We don't know for sure if the band raped her. 
and we don't know if she's lying, if Shaitan is lying. But if I come out and say, I think, uh, um, if, I rape, if I boy, you raped me, and you don't get arrested, but then you come out to say, oh, I'm lying, and then I get arrested, what the society and the system is saying is that they would always side the rapist, alleged rapist, than the alleged victim. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you arrest him when, when I, came I came out, out to, to say that you raped me? There's no proof that I'm lying, and there's no proof that you're not lying. So why are, you, are they taking your words Serious. seriously and not mine? So, yeah, it's for, for, for a woman, I'm scared, I'm worried. They, they already passed down the wrong information with Bu Sola, Dakolo, Bu Sola, mm. right? Mm. When they asked her to pay a fine mm. after you accused someone that you claimed abused you. And it was improving. You wanted to dismiss the case, but mm. you still asked her to pay a fine. Mm. Now, this was to prove a point to silence a lot of women mm, out absolutely. there already. So it's disturbing, and I think every lawyer watching out there should actually take up Shayton's case. Mm. And let's actually look into this and get to the and bottom of the it. Because well. we cannot keep silencing this women. If you've ever been raped, it's, it's, it's a scar for the rest of your life True. on the person who has been abused. So you don't expect someone to... It's not even easy mm -hmm. for someone to even come out come and out say, to say, I was, I was raped. raped. Yeah. So for her to even summon that courage to say, I was raped, then we should probably just listen just a little bit. And then on top of that, you slap the pain with i i don't care we don't care if you've been raped you can go to hell that's yeah. pretty much what's happening it's very very sad um for 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 someone like me who is ready to fight and i'm i'm re like i'm eager if anyone comes to me and say well i've been raped they're like let's do it i don't think i have that type of ginger anymore to do it i i don't think they're safe i don't think they're safe they were safe when it happened and i don't think they're safe even trying to get justice it seems like I'm shocked, actually, but I didn't think that I was living in a country that would actually be a bigger threat to the rape victim than the rapist. Because now, I feel like having to just deal with the rapist is easier than dealing with Nigeria and the society and the system. And that's but come to think horrible. Of it. What we're to getting think of it? now, sorry, mm -hmm. from Reliable Source, is saying that she's under intense pressure. Hmm. And um, this is even why our guests cannot come on right now because wow. she is part of those that are trying to make sure that things are done in the right way. So um, we hope that in the next episode we'll be able to bring um, better updates to what is actually going on. But I can say that she is under serious pressure and we are not sure where that tweet came from at the moment. I'm not surprised about this form of bullying because if you look at our so-called celebrities, you, we see a lot of American celebrities and celebrities from other countries. Their security details do not carry guns. Even if they do, they are private um, security firms. But you see our so-called celebrity here moving with Mopo's soldiers and all of that. So what do you expect? They're going to intimidate Intimidation anybody. is the order of the day. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, the problem is from the grassroots. It's not mm. even from this old rape thing. It's from the privileges from the we give to this so-called celebrities to start with. And they'll continue to rape. As soon as this happens, and I know that if it, um, nothing's going to happen to the bunch, every... See, this celebrity... No, a lot is happening to him already. Mm. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> for him to be doing this, or allegedly doing it, or for the whole pressure to be coming down on this girl right now, then there's a lot at stake, mm. and which is why I think he's actually taking the wrong step because it's showing because that he's. I, I, he I, I'm, I'm not to... saying that a rapist will be a rapist forever. I think that they can change. I think that they can understand that this is not the way to go and that consent is important. And if, if this is true and he came from that angle to actually have a conversation with this lady and apologize and say, okay, I never knew that this is wrong, mm. I think the story will be different right now. Mm. But trying to use your position and your power allegedly to try to suppress the conversation conversation is what is making this a whole lot messier right now mm. so i i don't know I I'm, just... ho I'm hoping for so i'm hoping for some hope because i'm yeah. losing mine where i'm sitting for uh, as a woman um and i'm hoping that we powerful women come together and really stand and figure out i mean because it only takes power to fight power so if davido if i keep calling him davido sorry the branch the branch <laughs> if the branch has his power and his influence let other people um, who have that as well be able and to other stand. men who's got other this men, influence yes. as well we need them yeah. in this fight to yes. actually get a solution Absolutely. because it's not a gender mm. war it is something that affects each and every one of us 
Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinion via WhatsApp to 0906057019 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, you go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye. Yes, that's me. He's back. Mm -hmm. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa. Tea time. My name remains Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe out there.